Prem Subalabindravan Bihari Lalaki. While the Shotas are preparing themselves for Arti, everybody, let's all stand and we'll do opening mantras. And then we'll go into Arti before we do our youth item this afternoon. Ajam Chavardi San Yuktam Grahina Yojitam Mayam Deepam Grehana Devesham Shrelokyat Mirabham Jayam Begauri Maya Jai Shama Gauri Tumako Nishadin Dhyavad Tumako Nishadin Dhyavad Hari Brahma Shivaji Om Jai Manga Sindura Virajat Tiko Mriga Madako Tiko Mriga Madako Ujjwal se do naina Ujjwal se do naina Chandra badan neko Om jayam Be gauri Kanaka samana kalevar Raktam bar raje Kagar ka pardhari Maya kagar ka pardhari Suranar muni jan sevat Suranar muni jan sevat Dine ke dukh hari Let's stand together. 
Shri Krishna Govinda Hare Murari Shri Krishna Govinda Hare Murari Govinda Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai 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 Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Nam Shivaya Nam Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shivaya Let's all pray together. Om Gajananam Bhutaganari Sevitam Kapeta Jambu Sutam show Kavina Shakaram Namami Veganeshwara Together with all your emotion, your love for Durga Mata, Mother, may you please come and have a seat in our prayer tonight. Thank you for another night of prayer. Please allow us. To get through to our satsang tonight. Om Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shri Sarvata Sarike Sharanye Prayamike Gauri Narayani Namostate Om Namah Shivaya Everybody Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya have your seat and let me know share the mic as we are settling down to witness those of you who are viewing at home please look on and enjoy what parents are doing what teachers are doing in this region of our country principal Mahapati Mahadeva ki jai Ram Ram Sitaram Jai Durgama, Vyas, Pandit Keshava Gosain, other pundits, members of the Bluebirds Executive, and all devotees. Swagatam. Welcome to the third night of the Bluebirds Sports and Cultural Organization, annual 9-9th Panchauti Devi Yagna. Our Balvihar program, which takes place right here every Sunday morning, it is one of our programs which is for the development of children. The children have been taught by Auntie Devika, Uncle Jai, 
Auntie Judy, Auntie Raji, Uncle Steve, Auntie Molly, and Auntie Rupa. Please give your attention to the Barapo Balfihar.
शरण शरण गणेशा गणेश शरण इजी चांद पे बोल लेट्स डू इट अगेन गणेशा गणेश शरण शरण गणेशा गणेश शरण शरण गणेशा गणेश शरण शरण गणेशा discourse that dealt with snakes we did a discourse that dealt with a daughter of lord shiva by the name of manas devi and what a person could achieve by doing this form of worship i gave the mantra that whenever people have poison poisonous people around them poison to ingest poison that is being built in your system because of sickness whatever that this mantra is made to rid the person of that poison we heard where in the in the night discourse where the wife manas she her husband abandons her because he got angry and he left her and krishna tells her that people who are born in your way in your line will undergo this type of life you will help people you will do seva but in your life you might see little problems when people are getting married in today's world young people that is baba we don't have time to check patra 
we don't believe in them thing. This is one example. This is one instance. When a boy is getting married to a girl, there is something called sapping. Have you ever heard that term? Sapping. A sapping is a person. If you get them to rub your belly, if you get such a person to rub your back, should you have pain in your back or your belly? Your pain is gone. These people, if they learn to jarry, they help so many people. They could take out, as we would say in local words, take out what nobody else could take out. These are people that are taught. Do you have you ever seen how to jarry Nara? Jarry Nara, eh? not rub Nara. This is a procedure where let's say the patient is in the middle, the person who is ailing. And one person is holding the head of two long jandi. Another person is holding the base. So three people are standing in a line, two bamboo are resting on the hip or thereabout of the person who is sickly. And the person who only has to repeat three mantras, three words, three syllables. And if the person has the blessing to do that type of jarring properly, you will see the bamboo start to bow like this in front or behind the individual. If these people of, let's say, they have ordinary people and then they have these type of people, if you get somebody like this, sit down, to do that for you, your Nara gone, you would see the difference. Does this sound strange to you? Have you ever heard somebody say, if somebody is born by their feet, let that person rest their foot on your back and the pain is gone? This is another example of that. It has many others. Last night I was talking to an old co-worker here at the Singhasan, and we were talking about local wood, eh? my wood, not my co-worker, my wood, where we just say people have goat mouth. She was talking about where I made reference to the moles on the body, and there is alignments or signs on people's body that when they speak, what they bless you with or what they put their mouth on you in a negative instance, that is going to pass. There are some people that have that gift. There are some people use that gift for gambling. In the village, I'm sure you'll hear somebody say, don't worry. I see a lizard riding on the back of a pigeon on top of a donkey. Go and bet number five, whatever number five is. <laughs> some people have that, that gift. Let's call it a gift. When you do Hanuman Chalisa, Ashta Siddhi, Ashta Siddhi, now Nidhi Ke Data. Hanuman had all the Siddhi. So is it possible that people could have gifts? Yes. Yes. Please do not walk away from this Yagyashala thinking that everybody is made equally. No. Just as how a lady has the ability to hold a child within her body and that body could make the hormone and make whatever needs to be made so that a baby, another life could be made and you say, wow, how come man can do that? Why doesn't men, why isn't it men are able to have this pregnancy moment? God make it that way. Let's say that is a gift. The serpent is a person who is gifted. How do you know what has happened? Sometimes on their leg, the person, let's, let's say the person is very fear. Just for our example here, the person is very fear. And on the leg from by the hip, somewhere you will see a brown mark, as if it were a snake is on the person. Sometimes on their back, on their spine, where the spine is here, you will see a mark like that. And how or why is that important when they're getting married? Based on our discourse last night, these people, if you really get to know them, regardless to the marriage, regardless to who, sometimes if they don't know what they're doing, the person has a horrible time in marriage. Most of them, if they don't do the Gaumuk, Pravesh, Shanti part is the name of the prayer. Just as what we were talking about when the child was born in bad time, we do Gandamul or Mool Shanti Puja. 
That was the first night this course. How to remedy the problem when the child is born in bad time. There's a prayer when they finish through the prayer. The highlight of the prayer. The father is holding the baby in his hand. And you're dancing a terrier with mustard oil. And allowing in that oil to see the reflections of the child's eye. When that is done, the effects of that bad time is nullified. For these ladies, when they have this mark upon their body, you need to do something called Gau Muk Pravish Shanti Puja. So if you or somebody you know has that problem, talk to the pundit. When these people, if, they, if you don't know who you're married and you married a lady like this, your lifespan as the male is shortened. As I said, check anyone who is in this way and you will see they're missing their husband. The lady who has the mark of the sap, what we call sapping, as I said, based on this course last night, she is born naturally to help everybody. If she goes in a temple to cook and she starts to feed people, everybody will want that food. Everybody will eat everything she has to offer. But that person, if you check their home, if the prayer is not done, that guilt child lives in poverty. She will help everybody, but she cannot help herself. Many people who have gifts live like that. People who could jarry, people who jarry genders, people who could help. God bless you with a gift or a siddhi, and you could guide somebody, I could guide them but I cannot do anything for myself. Tonight, as we go in our discourse, I want to remind everybody that there are some people who are born with different kind of gift. When Durga Mata, Bhairu Baba, Hanuman Baba come upon these people, sometimes you see them shake, sometimes you see them dance, sometimes they cry, they get very emotional. What are you and I supposed to do in a scenario like that? Because we never get to talk about that. All I know we do so and we do quiet and then you're hearing somebody going, huh! and dance start. So nice my little boy in front started to dance when he get the music. Please remember what Ponder telling you. You close back your eye and you focus on your business. Who dance, who cry, who laugh, who shake. That is them business. Unless the person in some difficulty, like you know, somebody faint, that's different. But sometimes it is my experience that sometimes when you see people, as we say, getting shakti or something coming upon them, as we say, people is watch people and laugh and ridicule people, although is something religious. And you know what it is, you know. But you use it as a reason to say, hmm. yes, yeah, she's playing, she's Mother Durga now. <laughs> Don't do that. Sit down and for just a little bit, not long. Now for now this hat song will finish. Focus on your on your mother. Focus on your God. Principle of Adi Shakti Mataki Jai. Please clasp your hands together as we do Sumiran. And we ask Mother, please give me the ability to focus. Thank you for giving me the darshan to be in the company of people. Last night I heard why we have the Devi Bhagwat. When that personality called Jambi Jai is wanting to free himself of sin now for having killed so many snakes, the narration of Devi Bhagwat is started. Tonight we listen where Jambi Jai is asking about a different form of Devi for the benefit of everybody. Mother, as I clasp my hands and I focus on you a little bit, just calm your mind. Listen to the little music that is playing and let it pull your attention. All this nice music and all this decoration is also to keep your attention here. Let's join together as we pray to God. Gauri Shambhu Gira Guru Govinda Ganapati Gang Sumire Vyas Bhash Karta Devi Gata Prasang 
Janbijay, the great grandson of Arjun, the son of Parikshit, the main character in Bhagwat, Mahabhagwat Puran, where the discourses of Lord Vishnu is given. Janbijay now is begging. Guruji, please give to me discourses about mother. Different forms of mother that will help me. So he, we have heard of Manas Devi tonight. Let's listen to another form. Narad Muni is begging as he's being told what, 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 what had gone on before. Please tell to me. O Prabhu, O Sri Hari Vishnu, please tell to me about the other forms of Adi Shakti. Let's hear what Lord Vishnu says as we enter Book 9. What looks like chapter 48 or 49. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupena Samsidam Namastasya Namaste, yay. Namaste, yay.
your child. Listen to the discourse of Shashti. Shashti Mata is the presiding deuta over the infants, the children. When a child cannot speak, Ma, I am hungry. Ma, I am thirsty. Shashti Mata is the one who is ruling over their body. She bestows children on those that cannot have children. When a person due to karma is going to have sickly children, especially able children, troubled children mentally, hormonally, when they're sleeping, the organs in the body, whatever it may be, she's the one who is working with this child. When conception is done, while that hibernation within the womb is happening, growth is happening, and when the child comes into the world, that mother is there. Another name for her is Devasena. She is one of the 16 matrika, Sodas matrika, that matrika puja that is done when we have Bandara. When you finish off all the Pindan Sapinda offering, 13 days, 6 months, 1 year, and you go inside your house as we traditionally say, we do Gita Bad. Gita Bad is one portion of that prayer. The matrika worship is there, 16 mothers, 4 rows of 4. And the reason we do that for that 16 ladies to bring peace, shanti, and to prevent subsequent death. When the person is doing matrika puja, they also do shashti puja to prevent troubles with children, sickness after the funeral and all these things. Please safeguard all our children and make sure they are good. Narad Muni says, I have never heard of this. Please tell me more. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Come on everybody, let's pray tonight to mother on behalf of our children. Shishupal Ye Ishwara Yogi Ye Siddha Yogi Ye Atam She gives the longevity of children. She is the preserver of children. Ask any lady in the first three months of pregnancy, the first trimester, as the doctor would say, so many warnings. Do not cross this, do not cross that, do not lie down when there's an eclipse because what you have growing inside of you, you could lose it. This is the form that we have to worship three months six months eight months during that pregnancy during that three months when all the cells are coming together the brain is forming first the spine please bless this child mentally capable let all the hormones everything form and start to make what will happen in six months all the system all the organs bless the heart to be complete sounds stupid and sound jokey and why would I have to say a prayer for that? Go and ask the parent whose child was born with a hole in their heart. Go and ask a parent whose child is born differently abled. And then you will understand why would you take a chance with your diamond and gold in the form of children. In that six months you make sure dear God bless the respiratory system bless the circulation system the nervous system let the back be straight don't let them have scoliosis don't let the spine bend to one side bless them to walk 
bless the nails bless the skin the eye the brain everything dear god perfection please that is the value of that six months and scar that is the, the purpose of it in the eighth month you do shashti puja have you ever seen that shashti puja let's say normal durga puja the prayers is different the mantra the stotra the part is different in a little while we'll chant it the parasad some people offer pumpkin leaf like what they do for bandi puja durga mata in a different form pumpkin leaf is the sohari so you put the lapsi or the sweet rice in there you put different types of nuts almond nuts so unsalted nuts and this you put our next pumpkin leaf and this is offered the mother that's the only difference if you put the flag same flag if you put the coconut the same way they tie the coconut in yellow cloth to make it look as if it is glowing with the energy it looks like a deer did you ever wonder why we just tied with cloth I went to press one day and the people run short that cloth. They say, Baba, we can't do the press. We are no yellow cloth to tie the coconut. No, boy. The reason you find the coconut, the life inside the coconut, the energy, the shakti. Mother, today I give you this. But the reason why we just tie it in the cloth is because according to the text, you have to make it look as if it has the shakti, it has the energy glowing. So one way of doing that is tying it with the cloth. Another way you see people putting cinder and saffron on it, that is why. So the energy, the power, the glow is there. Om Shri Krishna Arpana gone in the fire. Mother, I give you that. When the eighth month come now, we do the same puja, coconut, everything. And then there comes a moment where the ladies in the family, the mother-in-law, the poor, the mousy, whoever is there to witness this girl now is very pregnant. And the purpose of that prayer is, dear God, give us the ability to hold this child for the nine months to term so that the lungs, the breathing apparatus inside the child must be formed properly. Do not allow that child to come in that eight month. As parents know, children who born premature seven months live very good. Nine months, very good. But something about that eight month, mm -mm many children do die of course there are instances where they live god bless them but it is a high risk so the parent imagine the mother and the father you know with all the family begging during a matter please bless my child to be perfect please bless my child to be born properly in an age where your children are riddled with asperger syndrome autism down syndrome because it could be the simple things that we eat it could be the same chemicals that we 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 eat i used to run the lab for a popular bottled water company in trinidad and the same bottled water that we so love i can't show you mine right now it look bad but the same bottled water how they what what those bottles start off is little pellets and then they make the little thing, you know, sometimes people are selling um, oil side the road in a little kind of, what we call a, uh, it looks like a vial, it, it, it's called a preform. That is blown with pressure to make the bottle how you know it. So we know our bottle is very firm. Put it in your car and leave it in hot sun for about two hours. The same bottle gets soft. And what is happening is the longer the water stays in the bottle, the, the chemical in the bottle is leaching into the water. This is not something from Facebook. Eh? This is something that is taught in school. The chemical, how to make a bottle. How to do it, the science behind it. The bottle gets weak because the chemical is leaching into the water. So when you and I drink it now, look at the, look at this, the population in Trinidad. Look at our people. Our people used to have how much children? 20, 11, you had your own football tonight. God bless you. The problem was we had too much children at one point. Now, we have become a race of people that are near sterile. Everybody alike, including myself. I have nothing to hide from you, is one. Is fighting to have a child. Isn't that the case with everybody? And if you do have a child, God bless you. God bless you. First of all, 
but your child is born with hyperactivity. Your child is too loud. Your, ca your child cannot sit in the school. It's as if they're full of power. It is not like long time. Children have less work to do now. But they have as if it is less time to live now. How long time people used to tote water, plant garden, tie a cow and still make time for school? Still turn out to be a doctor, a lawyer, whatever have you, God bless. But now it seems like they cannot do anything. And one of the reasons, one, not the only, but one, one of the reasons is the type of, the type of chemical we put in, in the food today. I just finished the Yagna home by me and one night we had a girl who came to talk about the danger of sugar. And in it, well, you, you know the story about sugar and diabetes and Indian people, but the catches, when the tanti them from right here in the temple, see them same tanti, you feel eating pumpkin. No brother. When they put the punk in, correct me if I'm wrong, eh? I, I, am, I, am, I am accepting wrong now. When they throw the punk in the pot and they throw the water in the pot and they throw water again, salt and everything, remember it have a bag of sugar. Not a pinch, a bag that is had to go upon it with this had to make sure it isn't sweet, boy. That is just one example. When these chemicals just right in this area, there was a guy who couldn't breathe. And when they checked, what was the problem? You see that packaged milk we drink now? This morning in temple, I was talking to the children about drinking dahi and, you know, fresh when they boil it and boom. But how you drink that? Hmm. My, my nephew here, here tonight, I could talk about it. He hate dahi. Mamu me, I wanna. No. It has something here to see that it is advertised it. I forget what you call it. A plus or something. A chemical in the milk because of the, the hormone they pump it in the cow now to make the cow make interfere with your breathing. So when your chemicals going into your body like this, imagine a girl get up in the morning, putting the pregnant girl, she drink milk and she drink a bottle of water. And you think, you know what, I'm a good girl, I'm doing good. I'm eating right. But the amount of things we're putting in. See this young fellow on stage here, your uncle. This dude, chicken, um, tending to chicken and so on. And we was talking about the barrel of chemical, how often? Two weeks. Every two weeks, a barrel of chemical had to go in them chicken. And where you feel that is good. But when you, when, you, when you meet people and they say, Baba, we all have polycystic ovaries. We all have womb problems. Please understand, part of it. Yes, you could argue genetics, but part of it is the food that we eat. Imagine the girl now who is fighting all these things to have one baby. And she's hoping to God, please let me hold this child. Please let me keep this child inside of me so the child will grow and be perfect because I want a perfect child. For all the mothers here, who is willing to accept that when my child, my child, my child, I go take Down syndrome, I go take that. You keep the perfect child, I go take that one. Pandit, you have to be crazy. Everybody wants the best baby, right? Please listen tonight. Somebody wanted the same thing but they didn't get it this is where we start now we understand what they do when the puja finish in the shashti puja for the 8th month you will see the ladies and them the mother-in-law the puwa the mousy take the girl one side and just like what they did when they was toting the tray for the wedding for the matikurna and the five ladies are there the same five ladies lift the girl's top the upper part of the stomach is now exposed and the mother-in-law is the first one, the boy's mother, to put chandan perfume and worship that unborn child. Remember what I was talking about the first night, I believe. 
when that lady accept that deal by the car with the little sip of water for so many daughter-in-laws listening tonight you don't know why it is offered that lota water in front of the house i have to pay back that lady for the kindness of accepting me she is the one who makes you the daughter-in-law when she takes you to the cohobar and you touch the mud and all these things then you belong to that family and here now you are making a child and she is saying i accept the child born it i accept this child this child is not a bastard girl pran say that when you have a bastard a child that is born outside of wedlock now i know this will hurt some people eh? forgive me but talking text when a child is born outside wedlock you are considered to be a bastard everybody understand that one that person is not the person to walk around the pyre that person is less than when they are offering the pinda because you did not get the nam sanskar where the father what i was saying when the father was in years you were not tied to this family how could you then offer pinda as a son you are not that individual prem sabal vindravan bihari lal ki jai so the modern law is the one who says this is not a bastard i take this child before this child is even born i accept this child and that is what happens in the 8th month with shashti mata let's continue and i'm going to ask you a question about the milk that the mother makes sometimes we see people we see things happen everybody knows how a child will drink milk etc there's no disrespect in it but please i my question is who teach you to do that i went to school and i study maths and i study english and i study science one day i went with shorty driving school in princess town i learned how to drive a car dr ramsubag who will be here one of these nights right dr ramsubag from the university held my hands and he says come on it's time to do different type of research when i was doing my degree i love that man that was a teacher and a friend when you're young and you're stupid you just need people like them boy God bless that man. A proud this day to say I could be with his nephew and his relative. God bless all you. Bless that family. Nard money want to know. You see all this you talking it real nice you know. Tell me now who is this Shashti? Who is she? Tell me about her a little bit. But remember what I asked yeah? Who teach you to make milk? जय भोले बाबा तब शरणाम 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 जय शाम सदा शिव तब शरण पूजन विधि शास्त्र सुखदा पुत्रदा परम परा that we worship called shashti is one sixth of durga she is a piece of durga who is she she is the wife of kartik kartik is the general of the army of the devtas and this is his consort this is the person they place next to him when ganesh got married and he is going and it was time for kartik for those of you that know his discourse for kartik to get somebody they gave him shashti mata narad muni says wonderful wonderful could you please give me the discourse showing me who she is could you tell me what she does what is her significance and how how we could use her to help people in this earth 
Let's hear what he says. Raja Priya Bhrataye Asya Satke Tapasya Bhavunatam Sutta Yogendra Nadhayetam Tapasyo Yeta Yerataha Says, please listen to the history of how this lady her worship started there was a guy by the name of priya brat he's the one priya meaning dear brat meaning the fasting the japan the puja he loves to do these things he's interested when somebody tells him have you ever done this type of brat have you ever done that type of fasting he's the one who wants to go and do it just to say he attained the blessing and the punyam from that type of prayer this person remained he's a very blessed individual and he doesn't want to get married he has no time for that he's only praying 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 from dave says oh how unfortunate how unfortunate it is when great people don't have children when great people who have knowledge the science and they cannot pass that down to children who will harbor that knowledge when the doctor does not give that knowledge to somebody when the musician watch how nice father and son sitting together tonight what an example when the father doesn't pass that down to the son who lose the village the temple we lose because we lost that blood look at children and you will see the natural ability nobody don't teach them to you and me I'm a failure when it comes to music. I have been when Dex Dexter Ragudanan, God bless his soul, when he was young and he used to have tech, um, tabla class in San Fernando Tech. My mother here tonight. My mother walk with me and carry me, son. You can play tabla one day. That day I reach it. No, no, I'm big. I have music class. Shivanan Maharaj just have music class with me in my temple. And that man is my personal friend. Come now, boy. Sit down in the class now. You're gonna learn how you can look nice if you can play organ. I say, boy, me on time for that. God bless people who are musicians. Watch them, watch their ways, watch their hands, watch their ability, their eyes. You can see how fast they can pick up something. Me, I go struggle to learn organ. I can still play a little bull. I can down talent. Me and that man. I go struggle to learn organ. Watch you over tonight. The son of a family that comes with that inherent karma. And when you touch this in one, two, three, you pick it up. One, two, three, you could knock that. And as if God touched you, you learn and you play with it. Play with it. Not learn it, but it's a toy. Have you ever seen children like that? The art, the ability, God bless people who this plant. I have got children who just tell me, Baba, if you put this in the plant and you put that in the plant and if you put the rose, when mommy, Baba, buy rose for Baba. Oh, Baba, don't make time to buy rose. <laughs> when she buy rose, Baba, you must put it in Sprite. Cut the stem. The art of that. For parents who love, let's say, like how they have their group with orchids and all these things. And you see that child have a natural green thumb. Anything that touch Baba, it is grow. Where does that gift come from? Where does that darshan come from? Brahma says, how oh, when great people who have the knowledge and the science and the ability, the karma, how they rob the earth when they don't have children. So he goes to talk to Priyavrat and he says, oh Muni, oh person of great repute, you are cheating us by not giving us a child. Goes and he talks to his father Priyavrat. Remember that guy last night we were talking about? Kashyap Muni calls on him and he says, Kashyap, guide this person. It is time for him to have children, but not any type of children. When, when you're talking, and it, I was saying, I think it was last night, 
after the moon check first day second day third day depending on the day you'll get boy or girl but depending on which day you choose one could be a politician he could be inclined to be a musician he could be inclined to be an athlete depending when you make your child so the mind is be so the gifts this come so god is go which soul to pick and put in the belly of the mother he says do something called put shrishti yajna put shrishti yajna is that type of prayer where you are worshiping to get children but to get children that you want have you heard of this before when dashrath does this to get ram he does not want a pundit for his son think about it i'm a politician i'm a king i need somebody who is courageous when the pundit see fire the pundit might run oh god afraid bring a valiant warrior bring somebody who will grab arrows and sword and run into the trouble today you have police you have army you have people like that people who are brave courageous we want somebody like that do the prayer you want somebody who will make you proud do the prayer he's being guided do this patriarchy at now and you will get the type of child you want bhaktaye na janama guru karam tasya veye sadhu parana hridaye dattatam sadhe devaye aati And in the prayer, Malini, his wife, is given the prasad after. Some people turn away the sweet rice, what we call sweet rice. But this is the, this is the, the gift that is given, spoon by spoon, every duty is offered. And from that, I am sharing it for you. But poor you, I know the value. Nah, who know it that? See, Avi, Avi will never touch sweet rice. Go ask him to do that. Get a hit him as well. But don't be like Avir. Remember, sweet rice is over. Ganesh Baba, Gauri Mata, Prithvi Mata, Kalsa Devta, Nagra Devta. And from that, you are getting the taste. When you hear people go and do yajna, the sweet rice is what has the value. If it is a little bit, make sure you get it. Please remember that. The mother, Malini, the queen, she is given the leftover sweet rice from the yajna that was used and she becomes pregnant not too long after but her pregnancy is different when a normal mother will give birth after nine months ten months they are about let's hear what happens with her baby <laughs> ये चरचा तम बोले बाबा तब शरण बोले बाबा तब शरण जय बोले बाबा तब शरण जय बोले बाबा तब शरण जय साब सदा शिव तब शरण जय साब सदा शिव तब शरण द बेबी इज नॉट कमिंग Months are passing, a year is passing, and they go to Guruji and they ask, "Please, please guide us. What is happening here?" He says, "Wait until the child is ready to come." Twelve years pass, strange pregnancy, but when the child is ready to come, this child is born. The color, well, is up, is developed, eh? features, boy, child, coming. The mother is in pain. The mother has been in in this with this weight for so long, but in her heart she knows it is finally time for us to meet. For the mothers here, do you remember this moment? A frightened and a happy in the same breath. Oh boy, I want to see about where you come out fast. Let it happen quick. But oh God, let my child be perfect. 
Heavenly Mother in this moment, oh God. She calls on the pundit and she says, make sure, make sure the moment is right. Make sure it is auspicious. After waiting so long, don't let anything go wrong. Tam drishti rurudaye tam Sarvaye chanaye vandam Ye vridha, ye siddha, ye aati Tasme patra, ye aatau Jan Bijay, the parents look for the eyes. You do not watch the hair. You don't look at the nail that time. But you look for the eyes. The eyes is what gives you the blessing. But when she is given the child, the body is not clean yet. All the women, all the midwives, everybody is silent. Tears are running from their eyes and she is still hopeful. Happy, you're happy, you're crying because you're happy. Give me my baby, let me hold my baby. But when you rest the weight of that child, the body is lifeless. When she looks for the eyes, oh Narad, no eyes. When she pulls the eyelids down, the two eyes are set upward. The child is born dead, without life. And the bawling that she starts to bawl, the screeling that she starts to scream. The father that was waiting to hear the screeling of the child. This father is shocked, amazed, worried, everything. And he runs into that delivery room only to see her bawling. And she's beating herself, beating her breast, and she's beating her body. What did I do wrong? The husband has to move the child quick to get it out of her eyesight, otherwise she would go off. She's crying and what is she hitting? This chest. She says, damn this body, damn this body. You give me this to make milk, but where the milk today? What use is this? Where's the purpose of this husband? What kind of sinner am I that this is the type of child I will bring into the world after waiting for so long? What karma is this? Poor husband. Imagine now the father pulling his lifeless body. He for his self voting, he needs grief too. But I guess this is the weight of a father. For the fathers here, when you going through your struggle, you have to be strong for everybody else and think about yourself last. The father starts to rock this dead body. He says, no baby, he's sleeping. He's sleeping, he's trying to coax you now. The calm she down. What could he do? He lied. He takes the child one side. Let's hear what happens. Come on, everybody. Let me sing together. Different kind of discourse tonight, eh? Lota Sitaye Loka Tam Raja Priya Brataye Sandhya Gyana Yodha Ye Ati Putra Shukha Mrityum Jaya Yate Bhole Baba Tav Sharana Jaya 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 Saap Sada Shiva Tav Sharana Some people wouldn't understand the Hindu and the correlation to the bosom of the mother. Does that have a role to play in our prayer? They ever went to our wedding? When the Imli Gotavi is going on? The Mamu is feeding the mother the the bitter stem 
Oh God. <laughs> the child had to chew it up. And then mommy had to eat that. <laughs> you know how much time mothers are saying, make sure I brush your teeth good. <laughs> mommy is going to take the bitterness. Oh child, today you're going to get married. Let me say it's a boy getting married. I want to take the bitterness. I bless you. All the sour, all the hardships in life. Let me take it. Today I send you with full blessings. Remember that part? She's wearing the crown and she says, Today I give you the crown. Today is man. When do you become a man? Fast forward that same, that same moment when that prayer going on. When all that part finish. And they dress him and they make they bathe him and all them kind of thing. All them things happen. If he has a brother-in-law, the brother-in-law might lift him up and put him in the car. Make sure the slippers safe, as they say. All nice, everything good. Tasks are blaring. But what does his mother do? Marlo tell me, when he reached by the car and I heard him and I wish Lakshmi take off any nudger. Mother, let him go. But let him touch this bosom one last time. Today I let you go. Today is a man. That is the moment when that mother says, From today, I'm not in charge. I will always be a mother, but you is a man today. Principle of Adi Shakti Mata Kita. When somebody unfortunately, if if this fall in your garden, I am not talking about you, believe me. If somebody leave, loses a child to the ocean or to the river, but we cannot get the body. Have you ever heard of where the mother goes with her bosom and she drips that salt water on that bosom and she begs that water, please give me back what came from my body. From mother to mother, release that body. I accept the fact that he or she is dead. But at least give me the opportunity to do final rites of my child. When they do that, one, two, three, the body just come out of the water. Believe it. Something about this bosom makes a woman different. Shashti Mata. What was the question just now? Who teach you to make milk? Think about that. Where you going? God bless, I have two younger sisters and they're married and they have children. And it is amazing from my own observation watching them because you're so protective. When I had a good doctor, anything, Mamu Day, Big Brother Day. I lost my father when I was young. So I grew up over them as brother and father in one. And when they were in this condition now, husband, they had to get me wrong. But you know, you never leave. You always stand up to protect. Who does teach them from being a little stupid girl? I use my own family. The little stupid girl who used to fight with and beat up with and you're always fighting for something. How God has turned that person from girl to mother? Look at yourself and tell me how that happened. What are I talking about? One example, right? Just one. I go on by my sister and I hear these children children bawling, bawling. Oh God, they're irritating. Oh God, noise, 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 noise. So I with myself, me, you know, I say, hey, that child, like, oh God, feed that child, do something now. She said, mm mm, that child ready to sleep. You ever hear that? Mother's here tonight, all you ever hear that? Uh uh, that child hungry, boy, hey, don't walk that child, Lord, bring, bring, you ready for the, for the diaper to change, whatever. That cry means something. Who teach you that? You went and sit down next to your mother in law and she tell you, when you hear, uh, going too high, that means diapers. We laughing and talking, but this is a real thing, you know. The science of being a mother, where this come from? You now married, you now have a child, and automatically you understand. Quack, quack, quack. How? <laughs> Shashti Devi works with the woman and gives her what we call female intuition. We put it in English. That guiding motherly way. That this girl transforms 
into something that is so great. What is the greatness? Her ability to love something that was not there before. It wasn't there. I don't know what love. The only thing I might love is my, my husband. And I'm now getting to love he too. But he ways I'm not married. But here come our baby with all kind of trouble, hustle, colic, you name it, stress. When everybody's sleeping in the night, mother waking and walking. And she know how to shake you, what to sing for you, what you want. Shashti is the one who gives you that knowledge. This daughter-in-law of Lord Shiva, this is her role. This is why there are some girls when they are born, when the baby born, and God, you know, God forbid, the milk get coming. It have a way this Jared Peacock fella. All I ever hear about that? Some people is use push grass, Lord Vishnu, long story short. And you use a simple mantra, but we got the next question. Gayatri mantra could be used. It also have a mantra for Shashti Mata that we're going to talk about just now. And when you pass it from the top of the chest here, coming down to the bosom, that milk, where it block, is going to start to flow. The pain that the girl have, because they just have pain. The milk want to come, the child calling. I always remember my mother gave me a story one time. I home balling out my life. And she and my father went out. I don't know if this ever happened, darling. And from the bosom of the lady, with all due respect, milk started to flow. And you hear the mother say, something happening, call them home. Now we have cell phone. Call them, see if that child all right. Book it, something happening. Some tears, some sadness, something is happening. And maybe the people who are watching the child they know how to handle this child yet. Mother gives you that darshan. Do you think you are not blessed having that on you, having that knowledge in you? Think about when the lady becomes the grandmother now and you learn all the art of how to hold children. If I go to hold a child tonight, I'm telling you, a jujury, when they now born is small, afraid with the neck. Man, you ever see a grandmother just hug up a child? And she knows, she has no how to hold that child. That knowledge is God-given direction. Wouldn't you respect that? Nobody else qualifies for that except for the mother. Nobody else. A man will never appreciate what goes on in a woman. In the last jag where I was reading, I talked about how the woman's body is a place for that soul to go that has so much of burden, so much of trouble. That is why she always in pain. When she growing up in the adolescent age, the boy voice crack if you hear my nephew. You talk, you got a funny song. And more he talk, more I laughing at him. And I all he going through, getting tall, getting macho. But the girl porting, when she's going through adolescent belly pain and other things happening. Pain. To are we married? Pain, honeymoon pain, pregnancy, two parents, eh? Look at the value. Why would they say mother is first God? Two parents take to make children. Who does feel all the pain? Fast forward. When the same lady now, to have we reached the age for menopause, male menopause, I could still be a macho man. Slick back my hair with a little Vaseline and shine up the little bald head. And I still could go and sing a little Sohani rat for somebody girl. But the lady porting, they will tell you it's heart attack. They will tell you you're sick with this. The place making coal and I sweating beads and vice versa. She's always under some trouble. This lady is really used by God. She's used to do all his work. Tonight we're talking about the age where you're making children. When you're making them children, as, you, as we're thinking about it, how it does make them children, God alone knows. But he does use you. Last night we heard about Abhimanyu. When Draupadi belly was big, Arjun used to come and he used to whisper, baby, listener, when you shoot this arrow, you could mash up that person, do it this way, etc. And he taught his child. When people now talking about play Bhagavad Gita and play gentle music for the mother to listen, don't feel that was never there, you know. When Arjun has Abhimanyu, it was a common practice. 
This is before the Bhagavad Gita is even written. To talk to the child, to teach the child good and godly things inside the belly. So much so when Abhimanyu is born, he was ready to pull the bow and arrow. He was ready to go. Priya Brat is holding this body and he's trying to get out of the place where the child was born because the mother, as we are talking about the bosom, she is beating herself. Why did I do this? The mother blames herself. The child didn't have karma. She had the bad karma. She's the one who was supposed to produce a perfect baby. Isn't it when people have, in today's society, when they hear people lost baby, when they hear people have different problems, God forbid, and we just laugh at the ladies and them? Yes, say so. Do it so. Yeah, yeah, she lost the child. That's she karma. Not to be done. Let's hear what happens. Priyavrat is going partially, he's going crazy. He's trying to get away from the wife. He tells all the ladies, all the whole she down. I'm going to destroy this body. I'm going to burn this body. It's time to do funeral rites. And he's walking out and all, everybody, all the men are with him. Let's hear what happens in this slope. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupena Samstita Namastasye 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 Namo Nama Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupena Samstita Namastasye Namastasye Shravane Samye Nate Chakra Ye Triti Pushpa Mala Ye Atam Tatra Devi Atam Kami Manohara Yeshashti Puravashradavi Yogani Nama Yehiti Tara Yeshashti Everybody Everything he's throwing it off, pulling it off. He's telling them, take it off of me. And he's holding his son, lifeless. The arms drop, the feet hang. And he's walking where to go and burn the body. Same Kashyap Muni is walking at his side. Saying mantras for the elevation of the soul. And in that moment, he calls out, Oh mother, what sin, what mistake. Did I do to have this child after waiting so long to see my wife Malini cry and beat her chest the way she did? Why did we have to get this? He drops his knees and he's showing them the heaven. This is the body, this is the gift, this is the blessings that I have done all these prayers all my life. 
This is what I've been working for. This is the punyam. And as he started to do that, from the heavenly region comes a divine chariot. Beautiful young lady. This Devi is dressed in white, smiling. And he asks her, dear lady, who are you? What is your name? And she says, I i am Dev Sena. I am the wife of Skand. I am born from Brahma. And I was given to the son of Shiva as a consort. When we go to war, we stand together. O oh, Priyabrat, I am one of the matrika that is worshipped for peace in a place, in a home, in a family. When a person cannot have children, they worship me and they will have children. When a person cannot have healthy children or when a person has children that have some impediment, some circumstance that is holding them back, learning disability, physical disability, mental disability, in some case, spiritual disability, hormonal problem, worship me and you will get the blessing of overcoming that problem. When a person cannot have sons, when a person cannot get married, when the person is very poor, when a person has no job and they want work, they want money, they want family life, let them worship me and they will be able to get that blessing. Happiness, pain, sorrow, joy, good, bad, these things are the fruits of your karma. Oh King, please listen what I am talking about. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu As a result of one's karma People get plenty children, some people have none. Do not become distracted. Even the death of your child is because of the result of karma. Not only for the child, but because of the parents. Because of good karma, people, children live long, parents live long. But if you do not have that type of blessing, that punyam, that good karma, then you will live to see your children deformed. You will see your children marriage fall apart. You will see your children born diseased and die before you. He says the problem, O oh son, is the karma. Therefore, if you worship me, if you chant my name, this would give you the positive karma to overcome the negative when it comes to children. They are bringing their development their speech, their hair growth, their body growth, their organs, etc. When you want to overcome any impediment, you worship my form and even death would have to go back. Listening to these words, the father starts to swallow his saliva very slowly. He couldn't believe what he was hearing. He says, oh daughter-in-law of Madhu, guide me today, teach me today by you give me a miracle bring back life in this boy and i promise i will institute i will push your worship and people will do your worship but bring back my son mother bring back my son this is my prayer mother takes the child in her lap and she says from today when people worship me i will make sure their children are safe Treshu Lokesha Yetwatam Raja Priya Brata Yesutaha Yata Ye Poojan Sarvate Shashti Mata Kuru Yatam Looking at the miracle, what happens as she's holding him, the child finger starts to move, the eyes start to twinkle. She says, you are born to prayer, brat. She says, we will call you Suvrat. You are the true prayer. You are the true blessing, oh baby. You are the benefit of all the vrat your father have done. That child that is born with gifts, 
The only reason you have such a child that is gifted, oh Priyabrat, it is because of karma. When a person inherits a child that is great with literary, learned, bestows the fruit of prayer upon other people, shares their blessing. The child wants to share parasad, the child wants to share food. And that type of charity is imbibed within this individual. Even wealth, I want to go and do seva, I want to go and help people. I am not selfish, I am not greedy. Look at my child, why? This is your blessing manifesting in your life, in your time. Not waiting for when your life is leaving anybody, but now your blessing is standing before you in the form of your son or your daughter. Oh king, please listen. Shutvaye shamaye sangshay Vardha ye nastik narad Mangal karna masik sarva Ye putra dhana ye aati Suvrat, and while that child is playing in his arms, he says, Mother, how do we worship you? She says, On the sixth day, in the bright fortnight, in every month, let those individuals that want to have my darshan, let's say parents, let's say people who want to get married for the grace, for the purpose of having children, on the sixth day, Shashti Tati. Let them make kheer. How is kheer to be made? In making sweet rice, don't put water, put milk. Boil the rice. The rice naturally gets, depending on the milk that you use. If the cow milk has a lot of fat in it, you'll see a different color. Brown and pink sometimes. Cook the milk, cook the rice in that milk. And then add your other ingredients as you know. The ghee, the, some people put nuts, all these different things. Fresh ingredients. And then you put the person to do Havan. Shali Gram Dataye Bandayatam Bataye Mulaye Ati Pritaye Pona Ye Shali Krita Kritaye Pujane Atam going to go on for for the person that is praying and they cannot get what they want do it for one year every month on this particular day do how on using the prayer say it with me om ring shashti divya swaha if a person cannot get the pity of shashti which is very rare very hard to find it looks as if Devi is sitting in a green sari sometimes a child is on a lap not to be confused with Vira Lakshmi not a form where she's holding a baby as well put a shaligram in a jar put it at the root of peeper or vata tree if that cannot be done draw on the baby the mandal if you come by the baby you will see a, a yantra that is drawn on this baby draw the yantra of shashti mata and worship there if that cannot be done, use the pitya, the image of this mother. If that cannot be done, use a coconut. The shakti or the life of the coconut inside. As we were saying before, this is why the coconut is on top, the kalsa. Just as the dia is light and energy and heat, the shakti inside of this seed, I worship you, mother. In this way, look at your satnarayan pitya and you will see when the people are doing prayers at the bottom, Coconut is on top of the culture. Worship mother in that form. 
and do her prayer using Om Ring Shashti Devye Swaha. In the case where when you are putting the milk, when you are putting the different flowers, sweets, incense, arti, no, don't say Swaha. Om Ring Shashti Devye Nama. When you offer her all forms of fruits, all forms of roots. So don't be surprised if somebody is doing Shashti Puja and they put carrot, they put sweet potato, they put different vegetables as well. <laughs> Om Ring Shashti Devya Swahati Vidhi Purvakaye Atita Coconut, when you feed the Murti using the mantra we just said. Now, go and do Havan. Do it a hundred and eight times and burn that Kheer. And what you are praying for, by the end of that, that year, you will get it. That girl may become pregnant before. And she will be pregnant with the healthiest, strongest, robust boy or girl, depending on what you are praying for, that you could imagine. He says, when you want to go further, there's a stotra. There's a stotra that we chant for Shashti Mata. For those in the temple tomorrow night, I'll bring a copy. And you can photocopy it and share it for those people that are interested. Put your hand together. Pray now for your home. Pray for your children. Namo Devye Mahadevye. Sit Haya Shashti Namo Nama Subhaya Deva Senaya Shashti Devya Namo Nama Sukhdaya mukhdaya tam Shashti devya namo nama Bole baba tab sharanam Jaya 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 saam sada jiva tab sharanam Jaya saam sada the lips of Priya Brat, he starts to pray to mother and praise her. Mother, you are the one who grants the desires of that lady who is praying for children. Today, today the sinful person Priya Brat begged you for life and mother, you gave that life. You are the giver of city, you are the giver of buddhi, you are the giver of happiness, oh Shashti Devi. I bow to you. When you remember this prayer, when children are sick, when people have different challenges, Trust me, it really works. Let's go again. Shrishta ye shanta ya ye ru Siddha ye cha namo nama Manya ye siddha yoga niye Shashti divya namo nama Sada Shiva Tava Sharanam 
Dehi Bumi Prajang Dehi Who is blind? Who, is, who doesn't know about your name and your form? Vidya Dehi Supujitam Bless them, one that they would learn the knowledge the Vidya of your form. Kalyanacha Jap Ye Dehi Bless them to have the benefit of doing your job. Shasti Divye Namo Namam Prem Subhala Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai Prayer brought that father In that moment pray to that mother with that amount of sincerity That she blessed them And she gave him the darshan that I once called upon Would help people Do we do this prayers today? You do? We do it <laughs> You do. Have you ever heard somebody say we have in chattis? Chattis is a mispronunciation of shashti. Shashti puja is done before. Please, mother, bless me to have the child. So now the child born. Six days is here. And when the pundit check in the yogi chakram, they want to see where the devi is standing. So you will hear face northeast before so and so time and bathe her with what the different herbs that bring about blessing herbs such as kongolala dub grass kush grass these things that are positive kongolala for example everybody does do bandara everybody offering kongolala but do ask them why they put it kongolala is a herb people in india call it bhangraj when you go to puja store and you see they're buying different ayurvedic tea look at look and see if you're not drinking kongolala they take kongolala and the juice of the plant for people who lose in their hair or their hair getting thin one just one example of how it is used it is made like a piece and they put it on their scalp to help make the hair strong these type of herbs are just examples that are used to bathe the gill so that if there is any remnant or any issue we must clean you or bless you that you and your child must be now healthy no infection that is the logic behind it and then when you have the well did is pull the child in the little palana and soup and all them kind of thing the reason for that is it comes from the christian time when your Mata was dragging christian to make him laugh to make him happy when that prayer is going on you just like the kanya kumari we do in friday we do what the children cry so they do what they have to do to entertain the child that is the logic behind that but where the trouble has come how to do the shashti puja for ch what we just call chattis people is put the five pan leaf in the corner of the room nothing wrong with that that's fine that's the way it, rem it reminds me of the mati the mother went and she begged the land i'm going to marry my child please bless me please allow me to do that good see a child married when she get pregnant, you do the same five leaf prayer again. Bless my child, look, she making children now. Good. Now the child born. Mother, thank you for the child. But what is the mistake? I'm a, I'm a fairly younger person. But when my grandmother them talk about the craziness people used to do long time, I want to just mention it here tonight. You've listened to Shashti Katha. You understand what she is and how she works. Do you think in the room where that girl is sleeping with her newborn baby, that is the place to go and take meat and offer it to the five pound leaf that you're calling there? For some people, that is the mistake they make. That they have to put meat in the room and offer it. And because of it, many people said, you know what, I don't believe in that. I'm not doing it. But if you know the truth, you did it before, you did it in the wedding, and now you are doing it to say thank you for the child please bless them to live long and be happy mother except people is put carrot halwa this is when it is make the what is it called that not halwa self you want me to curry yeah halwa that halwa people is make carrot halwa people is make same lapsi and sohari in we family we offer fruits when we were short on time all for mother i'm feeding my mother nothing wrong once it's clean Please understand what is to be done and what is not to be done. Barahi and these things are not supposed to have alcohol. It is supposed to have satsang 
when you listen to Sri Ram Katha and you listen to different discourse, when Gargmuni goes to give the name of Krishna and they are doing this celebration, all the ladies get together and they are singing and clapping. It is a prayerful moment. However, people pollute it with alcohol and meat and destroy it by and large. Tonight, as I conclude, I hope you enjoy this discourse. I hope you understand the benefit of doing Shashti worship before and after. And please, when you want children that are able and capable like these, God bless them with health and strength. There's a way and a method that Hindus pray. Prem Chabulo Adi Shakti Mataki Jai. Tonight, let's have one chant from Yovi and Daddy. Daddy, you sing? Somebody sing a little tune for me, and then we'll conclude. Prem Chabulo Adi Shakti Mataki. Janmo Palashan Bhaksitam Umasutam Shoka Vinashikadanam Namami Viganesh with a pile of Pankajam Hari Narayana Hari Narayana Hari Narayana Hari Namrambo Hari so many people I've done I've done prayers all over 
And when the pundit in some village go and do the best shrad and do the bandara and everything, you know how they used to talk? The dead man grass, push grass. Don't look back. When the Baba leave in the morning, believe it, it had people who used to go. The same ladies and them, the dead man come in and my husband they like curry this and stew that and roast that and this, that and the other. And the same kushras that we worship today, confused Hindus, Hindus who don't know their dharma, no vex for them. If, even in this example with the shashti, if, if mistakes were made, don't vex for them. Our dharma, our culture is something that is always under attack. Please remember that we live in a society where everybody could respect everybody else religion except for ours. Ours somehow never seems to be good enough. The roti that people used to laugh at people. Oh, you're eating your roti in your piece of paper, there, man, and laugh. Today, the same people rushing to buy roti across this country. As a pundit, my job is to guide and teach and not blame and beat anybody. If we make mistakes, fine, that's all right. The important thing is we have to learn from them and go forward. I encourage people when you have children to do the right prayers. You'll get the right type of children. You'll get the healthy, happy, able children that you want. But when you take a chance and you say, well, how it fall, it fall. Then you could fall for karma and inherit problems. All right, so now over to the young orchestra. Devi Jagan Mata, Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati, Devi Jagan Mata. in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> Let me explain something to everybody. Some people, maybe in different settings, make trouble when children make trouble like this. You understand what I just said here? Everybody had to sit down quiet. Everybody had to behave perfect. Children make to make noise. Children make to do the thing. And if a child had to be free, but I prefer brother, be free right here. Don't go and be free in the bar, don't go and be free in the fet, don't go and, no, 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 no. Let me start here so that if you happen to step foot in the bar or the fet, you won't get carried away. Everybody could live a life that is balanced and that is what we're looking for. Not when you're going too far in certain things. So please, bring your children. Bring your children and join your children in things that would make them better. Give them a better life, a better outlook, extracurricular and co-curricular activity that would raise them up in society. Please remember that. Thank you for your listenership, everybody. I hope you enjoy tonight. I hope you learn why we just bow to mothers the way we just bow. 
I hope you understand what it takes just in one part, pregnancy, what God has given this girl. People is talk a lot of, about how man and woman equal. They really equal. <laughs> My wife looks at you. She does always laugh at me because you see, partner, if I get a little cut, jeps thing, or something, well, you know, the whole house have to know about it. I cannot take pain at all. And she and my mother them will laugh and say, if you didn't know about pain, well, it is. If you didn't know about pain, you, that way, how did I nothing? Don't worry about that, a small thing. Such is a lady. Principle of Adi Shakti Mataki. Jai. Everybody, let's all stand. Time run away again. And just, just to reiterate the point, remember I am reading from Devi Bhagwat Puran, Book 9, Chapter 47, going into 48. For those people that want to know and to read, read. God bless you, yeah, baby. Tomorrow night, go on. Ajam cha vartisan yuktam Grahina yojidam mayam Deepam grahana devesham Shrailukya timidapaham Jayam be gauri maya Jai Shama Gauri Maya Everybody Jai Ambe Gauri Maya Jai Shama Gauri Tumbo Gonish Din Dhyavat Hari Brahma Shiva Ji Everybody
कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरे गोविंद जय जय Shivaya, Nama Shivaya Nama 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 Shivaya Everybody, Tuameva, Tuameva Vidya, Rubinam, Tuameva, Tuameva, Mamma Deva Deva, Tuameva. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Prem Mahadeva Sri Adi Shakti Mata ki, Vindravan Bihari Lal ki, Satya Sanatan Dharma ki. Jai Jai Jai. Sit down. Sit down, everybody.